Fast exponentiation. How do you efficiently compute 899 to the power of 78? We can use brute force where we take 899 and multiply it 78 times. Assuming on each multiplication we double the size of the intermittent result, we get the following. We get theta of i equals 0 to n of 2 to the i of b, where n is the number of multiplications we perform, in this case 78, b is the number of digits in the number we're multiplying, which would be 3, and 2 to the i takes into consideration the factor of doubling on each intermittent result. Expanding this out using geometric series, we get data of 2 to the n b, which is exponential in nature and we're performing a linear amount of multiplications. Introducing exponentiation by squaring. This allows us to efficiently compute it and will also be used for modular exponentiation. It's all built on the high school algebra fact that we can take any exponent that is even and break it down to two halves and then combine the results very quickly. If we have x to the power of 6, we can break it down to x to the power of 3 multiplied by itself. Using this, we develop a recurrence relation which allows us to take on any number and simply uses divide and conquer technique to efficiently break it down. The implementation is extremely straightforward. All you do is you initialize the result to r equals 1. While the exponent is greater than 0, we check to see if it's odd. If it's odd, then we take the result and multiply it by x. Now, the exponent must be even, so we divide the exponent by 2, and we take x and we square it. And we repeat this process until the exponent is uh, no longer greater than 0. As an exercise, you can try implementing this recursively using only tail calls, where a tail call is you just simply call the method with no other addition or multiplication operation attached to it. As a hint for this, read the following backwards. What is the time complexity of this? We do a summation from i equals 0 to log base 2 of n, 2 to the i, b. Then we take the b out, and afterwards we get, using geometric series, 2 to the power of log base 2 of n plus 1 b, which then becomes theta of n b. We also perform a logarithmic amount of multiplication system. So we went down to effectively linear time with logarithmic multiplication. There's also some additional algorithms, such as the true the k array method or the slide on window method, which I won't be covering in this video. However, this is susceptible to side channel attacks, which for particular cryptographic algorithms, such as public key crypto systems like RSA, the exponent needs to remain unidentified, but the hacker can instead observe the algorithm and they can predict, based on its performance, what the exponent is. The Montgomery ladder technique actually resolved this problem. It resolves this problem by actually taking the exact same algorithm we had before, which is simply doing one small twist of adding this element of x2 to it. I won't be going entirely through this algorithm, but the essential piece of it is understanding that you have this x2 and that this x2 is one larger, one factor larger than x1. By, taking, by making it one factor larger than x1, we can leverage it by multiplying x1 and x2 when the bit is 1, by the x2, because x2 is one factor larger, and when it's even, we multiply both x1 and x2 by x1. That is the critical observation that makes the Montgomery ladder technique work. So what about modular exponentiation? What if we need to compute 899 to the power of 78 mod 33? So before we realized that we had the factor of numbers getting larger, increasing the time it took to actually multiply the numbers, as it was doubling in size roughly each time. This has implications that you cannot use 32 or 64-bit numbers. Some languages don't support arbitrarily large numbers, such as C++, out of the box. And there's speed and memory implications. Some languages have support for modular exponentiation, such as Java and Python with its POW operator. So how does this work? It uses the fundamental property that AB mod P is equal to A mod P, B mod P mod P. So we take the exact same algorithm we had before. We can just simply stick x mod equals p mod equals the mod value into each for loop iteration. So this allows us to keep the numbers small on each iteration, increases performance, and also allows us to stay within the given types. So just to review, we learned about exponentiation by squaring algorithm, about the brute force and the improved algorithm, and then we also learned about some extensions of the algorithm, including the Montgomery ladder technique and modular exponentiation. Thanks for watching, subscribe for new videos every Friday at 12pm Eastern, and see you all next week.